Hello, hello. I am with Crystal Shell today from Hello Guest Screen. Now, I know you're questioning what is Hello Guest Screen, and so was I when I first learned about it. But if you're in the Airbnb industry, if you are a vacation rental owner, if you're via RBO or you're a short-term rental operator, you're going to want to hang close to your seats today, maybe grab a pen and paper and take some notes, because today Crystal is going to explain to us what Hello Screen is and how it applies to your Airbnb and how it can actually help you with ratings and reviews, help create a better user experience, all the things, right? So I'm really excited that we have Crystal on our show today. Please help me welcome Crystal Shell. How are you today? Hi, I'm great. And thank you, Angela, for having me. I'm so excited to be on your podcast. So I really appreciate the opportunity. All right. So tell me about Hello Guest Screen. Tell me a little bit about this. If I were an Airbnb owner, I got to have nine properties in order for this to, to make sense. <laughs> no, you can only have one property. And that's the sweet spot is one screen is $14.99 per screen. That's less than 50 cents a day. You could literally raise your nightly rate $1 and more than cover it. And then you get up to five screens for $21.99. Again, you can increase your nightly rate a dollar and it will cover the expense. So you might want five screens. Like I have three bedrooms. All of our properties are three bedrooms. So if I wanted it in the living room, the master and the other two bedrooms, that would be four screens. So that's what I would be paying for. If I just want it in the living room, then that would be one screen. But most people are wanting the living room and the master and then they say, well, I might as well go ahead and put it in the other bedrooms as well. So it's just a really inexpensive thing to do. And it is a subscription. It runs off of your laptop or your phone. And it's super easy to set up. Can I ask a trick question? Do you take trick questions? I do. <laughs> <laughs> what if a realtor were to sign up with this service and for the house that they're selling they put a videotape of that house on the computer screens and TV screens in the house so that when people come through for the showings and stuff, that it pops up on the screen, like instead of it just being a blank TV screen, that there's a picture of the house that's for sale. And then it has different features of the house. Like now the video as it's progressing, it's flipping through the bathroom and the kitchen and the dining room and the outdoor patio area and all the things. Is that a possibility or am I making that's stuff up? It's very scary that you said that because it ended up being bigger for realtors. And I'll tell you why. One realtor came over. We did an advertisement in their book. Nothing about realtors, but she's a realtor. And I showed it to her and she used the fire stick. And so we created her a screen because she has a listing for the developer. Uh-huh. Putting it on the fire stick, she actually did a commercial, and I'll share it with you after the podcast. She did a commercial. She loved it so much and sent it to me, I mean, like a week ago. And I was like, this is amazing. But that's exactly what she did. She downloaded the app on the fire stick, created the screen, had the home on there, her picture, the realty company, and then the streaming video was the developers, all of their information, the different drone videos, and all. it was beautiful. And so from that, other realtors who are coming to bring their clients to see the home, they are like, I, I need you to introduce this at our broker meeting. So we've got four demos for brokers because I guess they want the brokers to pay for it for the realtors. Yeah. But that's exactly what they're using it for. And they just take the fire stick out so they don't have to leave it up on screens that really don't belong to them. Well, so, yeah. but here's the thing though. What if part of the homeowner, because we're in the process of selling our home right now. And so one of the things that was really important to me is I had to leave computers and televisions at my house during the showings. You get a call, they're like 10 minutes, they're on their way over. And you're like, whoa. So you grab your to-go bag and you bolt, right? right but right. then you just left your computers and everything up. And you don't want people messing around with them, but you've got all of this real estate. And I say real estate, pun intended, right. 
that is available to you to do something just like that, where every screen can have pictures of your house rotating through, yeah. and showing, you know, the fireplace and then showing like fun features of like, this is the bonus room or this is the guest bedroom or things like that, that would then allow for, you know, whoever the buyer is. Right. As they're coming through the house going, oh, wow, check it out. I haven't seen that room yet. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Or like you said, the neighborhood or the development, or here's what happens in this city, you know? Right. Yeah, that's great. And we didn't think about the actual person selling the home, but that is, that's a great idea. Like there are homes in my area that have been on the market for two or three months. And so if they only pay for one subscription and then it goes month after month, if the house hasn't sold, then you still have, you know, hey, here's our sales page. It still continues until the house is sold. Right. Right. Yeah. It's a great idea. And we went into a home for a developer. It was a, what do you call it? I want to say demo home, but that's not right. A custom home. Like a model or, home or something. A model home, that's it. Uh -huh. And it had a beautiful kitchen, big island, and it had so much cabinetry and hardware that, they, that you could choose from that mm -hmm. the kitchen looked junky. And so the realtor said, we could have had all this hardware and stuff streaming. Their options on the screen and not taken away from a big, beautiful kitchen by having 10 different types of cabinet doors and hardware. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the realtor market has kind of just snuck up on us and they're wanting it really badly. So that's next. I love it. Well, you know, the Airbnb industry is really interesting because it is very competitive and what you're competing with is hotels. And like you said, the higher end hotels have something similar to this and the lower end don't. So by setting yourself apart from all of your competitors in the market, it's an opportunity that you, you could get better ratings and reviews simply from having something that gave more information, made it easy to find, it made the, the guests not feel stupid because they hadn't, well, I didn't go back to my app or I didn't know where to find the, right. you know, the batteries that <laughs> made the chirping sound go away. <laughs> right. <laughs> And I've had so many people tell me, if you could have seen me on the floor taking a picture of the bottom of the modem because the Wi-Fi password was gone. Uh. And, and it's just like, seriously, or like you said, they don't know that it's in the app or it doesn't work or whatever the case may be. It's really, really beneficial and it does elevate. And if you do have some issue, a hair or maybe a bowl that wasn't so clean, this is that type of amenity that will really give you some forgiving grace for some of those, you know, for something else that maybe wasn't so perfect. I love that. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Okay. So Crystal, tell our listeners where they can go to find you and like what the startup costs, what the startup process is. I know you said you're doing a limited free setup remotely. If you were going to get started today, like what happens? How does someone do this? Okay. So you go to Hello Guest Screen dot com and you look for the banner for the click here for limited time we will set your first screen up for you once you do that you will get an email within 24 hours saying your screen is now completed scheduled with the calendly link below and then it will be a 15 minute shared screen call we'll walk you through it show you how easy it was we'll show you how to schedule the guests and you're done we also have a free 14-day trial right oh, now. Wow. So you can try it for two weeks. You're not going to lose any time by signing up and then you don't get a chance to set it up for uh, 10 days and then you only have four days left. Your free trial will start with that Calendly call. So 14 days free, we'll set up the screen for you and you're done. 